Welcome back. It's Becky. Today I'm making a geometric succulent planter that's designed in Tinkercad and print on my new CR10S Pro. The planter has five chambers and a catch tray. You can get the model on Thingiverse and also from the Instructable for this project, both linked in the video description. To model the planter, I hollowed out a truncated octahedron, which is available deep in the shape generator section of the Tinkercad parts bin. Models are made up of solids and holes, so the hole centered within the solid when merged will result in a thin-walled hollow form. After duplicating and arranging the shapes, I then opened up the tops by merging with some rectangle shaped holes. The drainage is accomplished the same way. You can remix this model by making a copy of it on Tinkercad. I sliced the model for printing using Cura to prep for printing on the Creality CR10S Pro. I printed the model using Hatchbox PLA in pure white and wood varieties. I've never had a printer with a heated bed before, and I'm impressed with how fast and easy it was to get set up and calibrated. This is not a sponsored video, but I want to disclose and thank Creality for sending me this printer. I love it. As a final step to protect my planters from moisture and UV light, I spray them with concrete sealer. It won't make them last forever, but it will prolong their life. I'm not sure if this stuff is inert enough to use with plants you want to eat though, like herbs. Is it best to grow edible plants in a more natural material like clay terracotta to be safe? For succulents, use a potting soil formulated for them with good drainage. It's important that they can dry out completely between waterings and the plastic material doesn't allow water to evaporate through it like a clay pot would, making the soil mix that much more important. Yeah. I keep mine in a south-facing window in the warmer months and under a grow lamp in the winter. If you make one, I'd love to see it in the comments on Instructables or Thingiverse. Thanks so much for following along. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to catch my future projects about technology, crafts, and my life here in New York City. See you next time.